Hi, I'm Dr. Anamika Joshi. I'm an oculoplasty and also a eye watering specialist. I practice in Hyderabad and today I'll be explaining you about DCR surgery in detail. So DCR that means dacryocystorhinostomy is essentially a surgery in which we create a pathway for tears to drain. Now there are some patients who have chronic watering that means they continuously have watering from the eye and when we examine them we see that they have a blockage of the tear pathway. When there is a blockage the tears instead of going inside the nose and the throat they tend to come out causing chronic watering. Also the tears get collected in the tear sac and because of water collection it acts as a nidus of infection and causes multiple infection episodes near the eye. So DCR surgery is essential in treating both these problems. First the watering and second the infection and the pus discharge that happens. In layman terms I would say it's a bypass that we create between the eye and the nose and hence we allow that blockage uh, to now not do any side effects and this new pathway now drains the tears nicely. Now this surgery can be done under local or under general anesthesia which the surgeon will decide based on various patient factors like age of the patient, what are the different uh, comorbidities that the patient has. Also there are two types in which this surgery can be done. One is an external route that is external DCR and one is an endoscopic or endonasal route that is which is done through nose. Now, a lot of doctors either do external or they do endonasal, but I am trained in both these surgeries and I offer both the surgeries to the patient based on what is the age of the patient, what is the bony anatomy and what does the patient want, what is right for the patient. Now, both these surgeries, external or endonasal, both the DCRs have very good success rates. Let, us, let me explain you the detailed process as to how these surgeries are done. First talking about external DCR, usually I do it under local anesthesia. So I first give some injection here like some anesthesia injection there. So there will be just minimal pain only during injection and in the entire surgery the patient is very comfortable. The surgery usually lasts for one hour. In the surgery we make a small cut here. That cut is like less than 10 mm, less than 1 cm long. That cut is hardly visible because it gets very easily hidden under the eye fold. And after making the cut, we make a small bony opening there. Again, that is not visible from outside. And we connect the tissue of the eye to the nose. This is how we make the new pathway. Same thing we can do through the nose without the need of an external cut. Now, uh, both the surgeries, as I said, have very good results. Uh, the surgery usually lasts for one hour and we make the patient uh, be admitted for just two, three hours and we discharge the patient on the same day. Two days we ask the patient to take strict bed rest because we don't want any bleeding from the nose that can happen. Uh, and uh, after two days, the patients can resume their routine activities. For one day, on the day of the surgery, we put some cotton in the nose. So the, for one day, patient will have to breathe through the other nose. But next day, we remove the cotton and the patient uh, is absolutely comfortable. So uh, after two days, uh, as I said, the patient can resume the routine activities and uh, the patient is relieved of the symptoms of watering and the pus discharge. However, two weeks, there could be some surgical swelling and in two weeks that surgical swelling can completely go away. Now what are the risks or what are the downsides of this surgery? So this surgery because we are doing it in the area of the tear sac, this is, this is very far away from the eye for a surgeon. I would say it's one kilometer apart for us. So this surgery has no risk to the vision. That is the first thing that you need to understand. Second thing, this surgery, just like how your natural pathway, the body closed it, the new bypass pathway that we make in a small percentage of patients, 3 to 5% patients, the new pathway can also get closed by the body because of excessive fibrotic reaction. So in 3 to 5% cases, we can have failure of this surgery, but 
commonly 95% of patients they do very well without any such episodes of failure so once it is done lifelong they get a cure from watering without any other risks